In this video, we'll discover about even the rich cries. In the last chapter, we stated and explained the fact that adversity happens to all. Contrary to popular opinion, famous and wealthy people also experience turbulent times that could have derailed their upward trajectory. In this chapter, we will look at some specific examples of famous people who were formed and molded in the furnace of adversity. They had failed before, but refused to let those moments define them. Walt Disney the man who gave us Tom and Jerry and other classic animations is known all over the world for his creativity and ability to create thrilling cartoons. However, many people are not aware of the story behind his success. Do you know that he was once sacked from the Kansas City Star? Why? His editor felt that he lacked the creativity and ideas needed to succeed at the top. Of course, it sounds ridiculous. However, this is the truth. If you think that this story is shocking, you need to wait until you hear more about this great man. Undeterred by his sack, he formed his first animation company in 1921 in Kansas City. He would ship his cartoons to a distribution company in New York and get paid six months later. Apparently, no company can survive on such a ridiculous arrangement. He eventually closed the firm because he couldn't afford his rent and could barely feed himself. You were wondering how a man who encountered such challenges became nominated for 59 Academy Awards eventually. He knew within him that tough times don't last forever and refused to give in even when the odds were stacked against him. Oprah Winfrey. The next person on this list is the self-made billionaire, Oprah Winfrey. Her story is an inspiration to many people around the world today because she is an example of how adversity can make us stronger. She had many reasons to give up and believe that she wasn't destined for the top. However, she didn't give up and kept forging ahead. She was born into a working class family where poverty was the order of the day. Her mother gave birth to her while she was still in her teens. Unfortunately, Winfrey became pregnant when she was 14 and gave birth to a child who died shortly after birth. It sounds all gloomy, and it was as if her life would only end in doom. Nonetheless, she had different ideas. She would go to school and became a journalist. Things didn't get better immediately, despite her commendable efforts to improve her life. In one of her first jobs, the producer advised her to quit because she wasn't cut out for television. However, she didn't allow those negative words to get to her. She kept pushing and she has inspired many people around the world because of her sure courage and determination to succeed. Bill Gates Bill Gates is one of the wealthiest men in the world. However, the poster boy of Microsoft wasn't always a success. He struggled to find his niche in the early part of his life before he eventually got it right. Gates started Trafodata, a company that was created to generate reports for roadway engineers from raw traffic data. He started the company alongside two other businessmen. Nonetheless, things didn't go as planned and expected. They had to close the company when the machine that was built to process the data tanked upon presentation to a Seattle County traffic employee. However, Gates wasn't deterred by this unfortunate situation. He decided to start from scratch by learning the lessons from his first experience. The lessons from his first failed attempt to build a company gave him the blueprint for one of the biggest companies in the world. Colonel Sanders the story of Colonel Sanders showed us that it's never too late to start a global brand. Indeed, it's always better to start early. However, Colonel Sanders proved to us all that you can start a thriving business, even at an old age. He started building his fast food empire when he was already 62 years old. Yes, you read that correctly. He was at a stage in his life when many people would be enjoying their retirement or looking forward to it. Nonetheless, he decided to go against the status quo. He presented his chicken recipe to different restaurants. Reports have it that he was rejected by more than 1,000 people. However, the colonel was resilient enough not to give up. His determination eventually paid off when he found success with a restaurant outside of Utah. The restaurant became the first Kentucky Fried Chicken. The company tripled its sales in a year thanks to the Colonel's Chicken. Whenever you feel like giving up, remember the doggedness of this man and hang in there. J.K. Rowling. Have you read or watched Harry Potter? The brain behind that story is J.K. Rowling. A tremendous success, isn't she? However, when you find out what things were like for her before her breakthrough, you will appreciate her success even more. J.K. Rowling had felt that she had written something so beautiful publishers would be scrambling to publish. Nonetheless, things weren't the way she expected. She would go on to submit the manuscript to 12 major publishers, who all rejected it to her dismay and shock. It was a work that she had produced despite encountering challenges that would have made others quit writing for something they felt would be more lucrative. She was divorced and had a child to support by the time she finished the first parts of the book. So during those hard times when the work was rejected, she could have felt that writing wasn't her thing. Nonetheless, she decided to try again. 
She submitted the manuscript a year later, and Bloomsbury accepted it. The company extended a small 1,500 euros. However, it turned out to be one of the best decisions the firm ever made. Stephen King Even if you aren't a fan of horror, the name Stephen King still rings a bell. He's a fantastic example of the success we can achieve when we choose to try again after several denials. King could have given up on one of his greatest works ever, Carrie, if he had listened to the voice of critics who told him that his ideas were outlandish. He made a difference at a time when horror wasn't in vogue. His times weren't like our days when it's easier to publish books. King submitted the manuscript of Carrie to 30 publishers, but they all turned him down. Think about it again. One, two, three, four, come on. Many people would have given up already. Interestingly, one of the publishers told King to forget about publishing the book because negative utopias don't sell. In fact, King had given up and thrown the manuscript into a bin. However, he gave it one more trial when his wife retrieved it and encouraged him to try it one more time. It sounded ridiculous. Why will the 31st attempt be different from the first 30? King listened to his wife, and the rest is history. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.